Item number SCP-474. Index Broken Mason. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Instances of SCP-474 are to be contained in high-capacity vaults located in Site 77's Euclid wing. Each instance is to be suspended in a block of ice which encompasses the instance's mass. If an instance of SCP-474 is located outside of containment, all cavities will be temporarily filled with cotton until it can be fully contained. Instances of SCP-474-1 are to be suspended in ice and held in standard containment chambers. Description SCP-474 is a phenomenon which affects the walls of artificial structures, characterized by the appearance of a hole of varying size and shape. Currently, 34 instances of SCP-474 have been contained by the Foundation. Structures affected by SCP-474 will generate humanoid figures, which are mostly composed out of the same material as the structure SCP-474 is affecting. These figures are classified as instances of SCP-474-1. SCP-474-1 will slowly fill whatever space the SCP-474 instance has caused, and will become animate after taking up all available space in the area. During this growth period, SCP-474-1 will resemble the prenatal development cycle, initially appearing as an infant before growing into an adult form. When animate, Instances of SCP-474-1 will seek out the nearest damaged artificial structure. Once they do so, they will perform various rituals on or around the damaged structure. Examples of these rituals include Attempting to gently rub mortar or other sealants into cracks or small damaged portions of the structure. Laying new bricks if the structure is composed as such. Spending significant amounts of time lying motionlessly nearby the structure, or within if the damage is prominent. Stomping around the structure while scraping at various portions of its body, in a rhythmic manner. Scratching various messages into the undamaged portions of the structure. See attached documentation. After a period of time ranging between 3 through 6 hours, the SCP-474-1 instance will physically contact the damaged area and disintegrate. Following this, the structure will remain inert for approximately 9 months, after which it will begin producing instances of SCP-474-1 and is to be classified as an instance of SCP-474. Addendum Documentation of an SCP-474-1 message found outside a small coffee shop. It was carved into a wall behind the building over a period of four hours, after which Foundation agents moved in to contain it. We were always to get, built for each other. Like bricks on mortar, we rise together. I sit in your cubby and dream of tomorrow. We meld together. I am born to you as new. We meld our stone together. Fill in the cracks. Be whole with me, and broken no more.